Tom Burns. I'm former director of Perkins Observatory for 25 years and currently teaching at Ohio Wesleyan University. Every time you observe the sun, take a look at the glasses. I'm holding them up to a strong light. I'm looking for creases and pinholes and things of that sort. And what that means is uh, they're safe to use if you don't see any of those. Always use a front end filter to observe the partial phases. That is, I'm putting the eclipse glasses on over my glasses, not under them. If I have a telescope, I have a filter that is on the front of the telescope before the light ever gets to the optical system, whatever it may be, glasses, camera, telescope. At the very beginning of the eclipse, before the total phases, looking away from the sun, put them on, hold them on. If you're working with children, you hold them on. Look at the sun, look away, and then take them off. And don't use glasses for the entire hour and 15 minutes of the partial phases until the last two minutes before totality, and then you're going to want to have the glasses on the whole time. When things go dark in your eclipse glasses, you take them off and observe the sun's beautiful outer atmosphere called its corona. About two seconds before totality ends, you want to put the glasses back on because you don't want to get that first bit of sunlight shining through. You don't want to be looking at that. If you go to the ODNR website, there is a list of all of the locations where uh, ODNR is doing solar eclipse observing when all of the various stages of the eclipse begin and end. Uh, just be safe. Don't look at the sun, except during that period of totality and understand that you are seeing an event that few human beings have ever seen.